Good morning, you guys. So, I'm at home today, basically. It's Thursday. Um, I'm working from home, so I am all ready for the day now. Um, I've eaten breakfast, and it's a rainy day outside again. I feel like I vlogged last Thursday, and it was a rainy day. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to start working, um, get some things done. I have a lot of emails to catch up, a lot of... Um, like just things I gotta follow up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then just kind of take you throughout my day. It's gonna be pretty boring as far as like what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything crazy today. But um, I'll just kind of chat with you guys throughout the day just to check in. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. And um, if you uh, are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join me on this pregnancy journey. I'm 13 weeks. I'll be 14 weeks tomorrow, you guys. This is crazy. I feel like it's flying by. Um, yeah, it's crazy. So, but it's exciting. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Not necessarily because I want to show you like everything I'm wearing, but mainly this is just like a Target, I don't know, like little cardigan I got on clearance years ago. I'm pretty sure this was plus size even, but it just looked so cozy and comfy. I just wear it around the house. It's like so comfy. Anyway, this is just a like Nike shirt because I'm going to go to yoga tonight. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys these um, uh, Lululemon leggings I got last week. Um, these are the Align legging and don't mind my socks, but they are so comfortable and my belly is starting to pop, I feel. And so these are so comfortable. They feel like butter. The band goes up, but honestly, it's going to stretch sh stretch so much because it's like, I don't even know if you guys can tell, but like, it is so loose, like, and there's no digging. It just lays completely flat on my belly. Anyway, so yeah, I'm really enjoying those. The only thing about these that I like don't love is that they, they're not like, all the way black. If you look up closely, oh, I got a little scuff on them, but um, they're not like all the way black. They're like kind of like, I don't know. They're black. They're considered black, but they almost look like charcoal -y in a way. Anyway, so I don't love that about them, but other than that, they are so comfy cozy. So this is what I'm going to be wearing to yoga today. All right, guys, I took a break from my work to get some dinner started. So I text Eric. He's at a meeting um, at one of our offices that's like two hours away. So he's on his way back. So I wanted to get dinner started, and I text him to see what he wanted today. But I have to give options. Like, I can't just say, what do you want for dinner? And, like, we have to, like, have options. So I said, you can have, oh, Poe's protecting us from bad guys at the door. There's nobody here. Um, I said you can have, what did I say? Um, chicken enchiladas, chicken, like lemon pepper chicken and potatoes, or butter chicken. Because that's what we had in the fridge was chicken. And we had everything for those three recipes. And he chose butter chicken, which is one of his favorite, um, like, go-to meals that we do. And it's a crock pot meal, which is great. Um, so this is what the sauce looks like. It's just um, like coconut milk and um, curry seasonings with tomato paste. Um, this is actually a paleo recipe, but we're not, we don't like necessarily have to eat a paleo diet. So I actually add butter to this. They do coconut oil. I do coconut oil, but I also like to add butter to this because it's called butter chicken and butter is like the best thing ever. So. Um, I just put chicken in the crock pot. I'm going to salt it. Alright guys, I'm just about to sit down and eat some lunch. Um, I'm just eating avocado toast and some cheese, carrots and dip and um, these little plantain chips. But I wanted to tell you guys that I went to the OB yesterday and we had a great appointment. I'm, like I said, 14 weeks tomorrow. So um, it was just like my monthly appointment with him. And it was great. Everything looked perfect. He saw, or he 
We heard the baby's heartbeat, sounded perfect, he said. It's just so nice when the doctor is literally like, everything looks perfect, you're measuring perfectly, all of my basic like health signs, you know, blood pressure, all that stuff was perfect. So it was just a relief. Um, not that I was like way worried, but you're always kind of like worried, like, is everything going okay in there? Like my belly's popped a little bit, so I know something's happening. I still have nausea at night, so I know things are moving along, but I don't know. It's just so nice to get a, go in for a checkup, and I wish it wasn't once a month. I wish it was like every other week at least, <laughs> but um, we'll be going in again at the end of November, and then um, a week or so after that, we get to do our anatomy scan, the 20-week appointment. Um, which is usually when people find out the gender, but we already know the gender, so it'll just be nice to look at baby Cherik on the screen, which even though we know we're having a girl, we still call the baby baby Cherik because we don't really have a name. Um, we have a couple names that we really like, but we don't have anything nailed down. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like I need to see the kid before I actually name her, so... Anyway, um, yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. It was a great appointment, and I'm feeling much better in this second trimester time. I just hit the second trimester, so I'm feeling more like myself. I'm able to eat healthier foods. Um, I'm craving healthier foods, which is awesome. So, yeah, just things are going great as far as baby Cherik and pregnant mom are concerned. Hey, you guys, I am currently on a walk with Poe. Say hi, Bo. He's just uh, really enjoying sniffing anything and everything he possibly can. It's kind of dark, so sorry if you can't really see me, and I'm a little out of breath. I don't know why. So while we're just hanging out here in the park, letting Poe sniff and have his, you know, fun time outside. <laughs> sorry, I'm like keeping an eye on him. Hey, buddy, come here. Come this way, Kay. Look at him run. Um. So while I'm out here, I wanted to chat with you guys about something that's been on my mind. Um, go get, go get that over there. Oh, I should have brought a ball or something, but usually he's just fine sniffing around. Anyway, like I was saying, something that's been on my mind is uh, this thing I'm calling survivor's guilt. And basically what that is, is I'm, I have lately been feeling honestly, ever since we found out we were pregnant. Um, just this sense of like survivor's guilt. Um, like I feel super lucky um, and blessed that we were able to get pregnant with IVF our first try. And I feel like I know so many people still that are just waiting and waiting and they've already gone through a transfer or more and they still have not gotten their positive pregnancy test and it's just hard because I want to be super happy and celebrate my pregnancy and like the time of life we're in right now with being pregnant and all that comes with that and all the planning and stuff I, I literally I want to share every step of that and I want to be super excited about it but I also want to be sensitive because I know some of my tribe here on YouTube and Instagram like I know some of you are still waiting to get that positive pregnancy test and it just I don't know I just don't know what to do I like want to have a nice balance between sharing my pregnancy but also supporting the infertility community because I still want to make content and things that um, are applicable to those of you who are going through IVF or struggling with infertility right now I want to be a big support because I know how much it meant to me to have people that I could um, follow and like watch and talk to I guess like watch their content that would help support my infertility journey and like my IVF process so anyway so that's kind of how I'm feeling right now I don't like I don't know what to do I just I want to like shout it from the rooftops and post a hundred times a day about how, how happy I am to be pregnant, but I also want to be sensitive to the infertility community, to those of you who are still going through IVF, and I also want to like provide content for you to help you, those of you going through that. Um, so anyway, that's my little 
struggle right now. If you guys have any, I don't know, tips, comments on that, whatever you want to give me, please feel free to share down below in the comments. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys know that I really, really do care about each and every one of your stories and um, I love when you guys share them with me because I just feel like this community, the infertility community, the IVF community, whatever, and like even new moms, like pregnancy, like we need to support each other as women and just really help each other because like there's just so much that we go through and I feel like, you know, it's like having empathy for people that are in the same situations for you as you makes a big difference. Just knowing that you can rely on someone who's totally like been through what you're going through. Um, whether that's, you know, infertility or new motherhood or IVF, whatever it is. So anyway, that is just my little vent session right now. Um, I hope you guys kind of see where I'm coming from and love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Um, I gotta go get Poe, so this is the end of that. I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here as well because I'm not doing much the rest of the day. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to have you part of this tribe. And I will see you in my next video, bye. Thank you.